Hello, it's Davina here. And a couple of people who replied to our survey questions for the tutorials asked us if we could show them how to use Jing. And because I find it invaluable and use it quite a lot, I thought I would do a quick screen video to show you how to use it. If you don't have Jing, just pop Jing in the browser, sorry, in the search engine, and this is what will crop come up. I'm going to click on this one to go to the website, and it's techsmith.com, who are also um, are the makers of Camtasia. And you come to this page. I'm not going to go through this because it's fairly self-explanatory and there's a video, but this is what um, you would get. Put it onto there. When you have downloaded it, you will get a yellow sun coming up. And there's five buttons on here. One, when you finish doing what you want to do, you tick. Two, feedback. Preferences, we'll come back to help if you're not sure and quit altogether. In the preferences, you've got your um, email account and you can add um, a hotkey, which I put, uh, which would be control J on um, Windows. You have the startup options. If you la launch on startup, it, the, this yellow sun will be somewhere along the edge of your screen. Or, as I have done, put it in the men, menu bar, it comes up here. To get rid of it, just click that. So you have got your Jing and it's downloaded and you want to use it. And we're using our um, free graphic design tutorial fan page. And what I'm going to do is show you how to do a capture one shot. So I would go up to the, call it the sun for the moment, and capture and click anywhere on the screen. Now you can take the whole thing if you want to, or you can move the black arrows in the top, the side, the top, or round actually. That's, uh, that happens, so cancel. We start again, capture, move them in, that's when you see those black arrows, I'm just going to bring it there, and you can also move it up if you want, I'll do it to there. And when you're happy with what you um, have got on the screen, you come down to capture an image. And what happens is you get these four excuse me, tabs, self-explanatory, an arrow, text, frame, and highlight. And this is the colour uh, they will appear in. I'm going to put some text in, so I'm going to click on T, but I'm also going to change it to black, because I don't really want green, it won't show up very well. And all you do is click and drag to get a box. This is the text you can choose from, I'll leave it on Helvetica, and that's the size of your text. So if we type something in, um, this is an example of pictures on a fan page. If you want, as I say, you want it bigger, you can do that and you can move the box, although I'm not very clear, oh, that's it. You can resize it like that, um, up. Like that. I'm also going to put an arrow, so I will click on the arrow sign, change it to green, and then click and point. Click and point. And this is extremely useful if you're trying to explain something to somebody. Um, you can put an arrow and a say, put the text there, and hopefully they will understand what you're telling them. When you're happy with that, you come back down to here and you give it a name. So we'll give it um, Jing 
test pick. I'm going to save this and I'm going to save it onto my desktop and it saves it in PNG actually. If I knock off hide extension you can see PNG and save there and you will get this little sign and it'll go off in a minute but uh, it's been it's ready to be um, pasted. That is how you take um, a snapshot. But what happens if you want to do a screenshot or a video of what you're doing on the screen? Jing will take a video up to five minutes. And again, this is extremely useful if you're trying to show somebody what to do. So it's a case of you go up to capture, click on the screen and then come down to the capture a video. And we'll get the countdown on here. So you've got the whole of the screen here and you may want to scroll through and have a look at what's on this particular site. I won't do it too quick because then we could all end up feeling rather nauseous. So we're going down there. Take you back up and when you've done what you want to do on your video you're going to save it. So click on finish recording and again save and we'll call this Jing test video. You've got one of two places to save it. You can save it onto your computer and play as you do other videos and I'm not going to do that because you know how to do that or you can share, save via screencast and that's what I'm going to do here. It, it'll ask you for information which is stored, allow and it will be uploading to screencast. I've been told that it's been uploaded to Screencast, so I'm going to click there. Uh, when you signed up with, for Jing, they would have asked you for an email address, and this is where you put it in at screencast.com. So I'm just going to sign in here, and you will find on screen your library and Jing there. Just double click. On the top one and which one was it? Well you can see that both of the videos are in here and if you double click this is the latest one obviously 735 so double click on there and there it is and if you click on there you can see so you've got the whole of the screen here and very good resolution. So it's just a question I think of clicking the back button and we'll go back to the library and as you can see if you click on the various signs you can edit it which I'm not going to do there and that is share the contact. Now this is where it's useful because um, you've got a URL, you can embed the link or embed it on your page. And if you um, send somebody an um, email, you can share the URL or anything, any of the links on there. So I don't want to do that. And if you want to get rid of it, like I'm going to do this one and I'm going to, okay. So I shall sign out of there and come back to there. And that really is, is it. So go and get a copy of Jing and start using it. And I think you'll find you'll wonder why you didn't get one sooner. Davina here and it's bye bye from me.